If you own an old PC that doesn't meet the minimum requirements to run Windows 11 or has limited RAM and storage space, then you should try Tiny 11, which is a light version of Windows 11. So in this video, I'll guide you through the steps on how to install the latest Tiny 11 on your PC. First of all, you need to download the Tiny 11 ISO file. Visit this internet archive link. This is the official link from NTDev, who is the creator of Tiny 11. As you can see, the latest Tiny 11 release is based on Windows 11 22H2. When compared to Windows 11, Tiny 11 needs drastically fewer resources. It only needs 8GB space in comparison to 20GB plus that the standard Windows 11 installation requires. Though the developer didn't mention the RAM requirements, it works perfectly fine with 4GB of RAM. And Tiny 11 doesn't need the TPM, Secure Boot or CPU requirements, so you can install it on unsupported computers. To download the Tiny 11 ISO file, click the arrow next to the ISO image. Then download the 22H2 Beta 2 No System Requirement file. This is the latest file and it doesn't require the TPM and Secure Boot requirement. Once the file is downloaded, you'll need to create a bootable flash drive for the ISO file. We'll use Rufus to create the bootable USB drive. After downloading, open up Rufus on your computer. Select your USB drive in the device dropdown. Click on the select button to choose your Tiny11 ISO file. Select the NTFS file system. Now press the start button. Depending on your PC, the process may take anywhere between 2 to 10 minutes. Once the process is complete, we can proceed to install Tiny11 onto the PC. So follow the steps. Restart the PC and repeatedly press the boot menu key. Once you are in the boot manager, Choose the USB drive to boot from. You will now enter the Windows setup. In the partition screen, select the drive where you want to install the OS. Quickly follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Once done, you will boot to the light version of Windows 11, and it's as easy as that. Tiny 11 is now installed on your PC. As you can see, the CPU and RAM usage is significantly lower compared to standard Windows 11. The developer of Tiny 11 made Windows 11 lightweight by taking out a lot of unnecessary functionalities and apps that most users don't use. For example, you won't find apps like Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Edge, Xbox, etc. If you need any of those apps, you can easily download them from Microsoft Store. It only has the necessary apps like Notepad, Paint, Calculator, etc. The developer has also left most of the security features like Microsoft Defender Antivirus, Core Isolation and Data Encryption intact, so no compromise on the security part. It also allows you to update Windows 11 to download the latest security updates from Microsoft. Tiny11 uses a local account by default, whereas the official Windows 11 forces you to use Microsoft account. Of course, there's the option to log into your Microsoft account, but with Tiny11, it's your choice. Now, as to the questions of the safety of Tiny11, I'd say it should be safe to install it. Given the long reputation of the developer in the community and the positive reviews Tiny11 has received from its users. But you should remember that it's not an official build and there could always be risks associated. So you should carefully consider whether you need to install it or not. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.